Okay, I'm very close to disbelieving any musician, especially a guitarist, that say, hey, learn this easy tune. But let's hear what this guy has got to say for himself. This is John Blackmore. For beginners, so if you're just starting on guitar, this will be perfect for you. That's me. One thing you do have to know, however, are your open chords, okay? Uh, oh, so no. anything with open strings, like A, A. D, C, E, G. Yeah. So you have to be confident with your open chords, and I'll explain how we can get into learning how to solo straight away, okay? On pretty much anything. Don't believe it. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. So hopefully, if you're still with me, you know your open chords. Let's just stick with something nice and easy. Let's stick with... A. Got that one. Okay, just an all A major chord, all right? Your my guitar is This will all also work with an A minor, so whatever you're more comfortable with, okay? Ooh, now, I'm gonna explain to you, there are rules behind this, there are names for these kinds of things, but I'm not worried about the theory, the scales. This is just for fun to get you started, That's okay? It. Now, when we play an A chord, so say you're playing along with a buddy or something, <laughs> and he's playing an A chord, and you think, well, what am I going to do? I want to do something over the top. You want to be doing cool. I want that. Like I want that. that. Right? What so did you, all what I'm did doing you do for then? A. Now, this is the general rule. When you play A, you have to come up to the fifth. Right. That sounded. That sounded cool. I want. What he did there, I want that. It's a fret on the bottom E string, okay? Uh, yeah. Now, I don't play that A. Of course not. Because we've already got the A going on, all right, in yeah. the background. So what I do, I come next door to A on the actual A string, yeah. okay? Which is the, fourth, uh, the fifth string, sorry. So we just count from thinnest to thickest. So we come over onto the fifth string, next door to this A note. This A note is the fifth fret yep. on the thick string, okay? And it sounds like that. Yep. Now all we're gonna do, we're gonna play four notes from there, Ooh, okay. and it kind of looks like a box, okay? So there's our first one. The fifth fret Got it. on the A string. The seventh fret on the A string. Then we're gonna go next door again, and we're going to go to the D string, the fourth string, and we're going to go fifth fret there. Got it, got it, I'm in. And seventh fret. It's there. a box, I got it. So when you look at that shape, it's kind of four corners of a box. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't necessarily play it with one finger like that. That's just so you can see where my fingers are going. Got so it. how I would do it, I'd play... On the fifth fret, yeah. I play my first finger, then my third finger. Got it. Now, I don't think you have to leave this down, because you don't. You can just bring it off. Bring your third finger over to the seventh fret, then go over to first finger on the D string. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it likes a little mummy time. Good, your chat's great. Can I just get on with my lesson here? Right, smell you later. Learn, learn something new. I am, I'm trying to learn something new. <laughs> chat's stinking. With just those four notes. We, at this point, we don't really care what they're called or anything like don't that. Don't care. Now, this is a bit more advanced, but to give you an example. What? Ooh, that's quite, that's quite cool. Ooh, so like I was only playing just those four notes, and I know I was pretty fast when I was using kind of more advanced stuff. But that's just to give you an example of what you can do with just four notes on A. Now, all you have to do... This is just to get you started. So, if you've got a song or a looper, 
I should have put my loop pedal on. Until I get it, until I get it. Now say. Yeah, 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 I like that, I like that. So, oh, God. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm not making any good tunes, but no, it's fun. So I went to D. You could stay there. Ooh. Ooh. Back to A. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Cheers, but get it. like five strums. God, I'm rubbish. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting, getting it. I'm there. getting it. It's just like right. So, so. An example, all right. So, even burning. though the How chords you behind the chain, burning. Yeah. That's what I want to know. <sighs> because the key that, like, the sound is always sounding like A. How is he doing that tune? Stay there. But I went to D as no. well, didn't I? Now D is a different no. place on the bottom E string. So A. I don't know what he's doing. 
we said was our fifth fret. Is that down? So we went next door. Up, down, up. Right, we went next door to the fifth fret on the next string. And we played those four notes. Now D is all the way up here on the tenth fret. Up, go, up, uh, go next seven, door. Eight, nine, ten. So say you wanted to, uh, you know, say Oops. this song was hanging on D. Exactly the same thing, all right? So this, at the 10th fret, on the bottom E string, that note is D, all right? We go next door, and we do that same position, so the four corners, so 10, 12 in this case, yeah, over to the 10. D string, 10, 12. That's your, like your little box. Not to be confused with BB's box, that's in blues, but we'll get to that another time. Just kind of four corners, so that's D at the 10th, and then A at the 5th. Now, you don't have to memorize all these, okay? Phew. You just start off with one at a time. You know, I always say to people, hang out in A for a while, so, so you can look at backing tracks on YouTube, and you could, you know, jam along with them. There's no right or wrong. It's just soloing, okay? It's just improvising. Improvising is just a flash term for making it up as you go along. So, so far, we've got A. Then we play D. And you could move up to D here. And I played E. Now, E is a bit confusing. Because essentially, the two notes that we want to play, they're kind of open, they're invisible. So we end up because there's E, right? So next door to E is going to be A. And to a uh, uh, step up from A is going to be this note here, which is B. So me. it's going to be the Don't second fret. So that'll be O, 2. Then you go to the D string, O, 2. So E is going to be really easy. It's just going to be... the time to make it more fun. E's also up here on the 12th fret. Okay, so you could go next door to E on the 12th fret. Can't. Over onto the A string. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, can't. And do can't exactly like... the same as you did for A and D. door there's our box again so it's kind of they're just patterns that we follow and they repeat all over the fretboard so with E we've got two options we can either use the open or the octave what we call Okay, which it just means it's one higher. So, but sometimes, you know, say the song's going along and... Say something like that. Now, G is kind of like the dominant chord. It sounds like the one that's playing most. That's what we call the key note, all right? You don't really need to worry too much about that, but that just means G is kind of like the dominant chord in the progression, in the group of chords. So therefore, I would use G, our little box under G. So 
you can experiment with lots of different songs, lots of different chords, but the rule is always the same, all right? So the best thing to do, if you want to get really good, is learn all the notes on the bottom E string. And that'll help you find your shortcuts. Now these dots, these little inlays I've got here, they're the same as my dots on here, okay? I've got one at third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, and a double at twelfth, okay? just the two represents 12 that's all and i kind of think of it as g a b okay the next dot is c sharp we're not too worried about that and the double dot is e so g a b golf and balls however you want to remember it okay so all the notes are going to be obviously the lowest is e one higher than e f f sharp g Okay, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So from open or 1 to 12, we can pretty much play over any keynote in any song. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Don't forget to check out the links below and I'll see you again the same time I next feel week. Enjoy. Better.